What's up everybody, it's Power Bang. Welcome back to another guide on Brawl Stars. Today's character that we're gonna take a look at is none other than El Primo. El Primo is a common tier brawler. He's a melee bruiser. He likes to get in very close range, mix it up with his opponents, and he pummels them with his fists in order to get his victories on the battlefield. His primary attack is the slap sandwich. El Primo throws a trio of thundering slaps, a SmackDown flavored sandwich. His super ability is a little bit different. It can be used to close gaps and also escape. It's called the Flying Elbow Drop. Leaping high, El Primo drops an intergalactic elbow that pounds and pushes away anything he lands on. El Primo's base hit points is 1300, which is the most of any character in Brawl Stars. El Primo has many strengths and also some weaknesses, so let's go over those now. Starting with his strengths, he's an extremely strong brawler with some of the highest sustained damage output in the game. In addition to hitting really, really hard, he also has a giant amount of hit points. His range is deceptively long, even though he's a melee character, you'd think they'd have to be directly next to them. It's much farther than you'd anticipate a melee character to be. It's almost like the Matrix where he punches and there's a shockwave in front of those punches that reaches out quite a bit further than the hands themselves. His flying elbow drop can work very well both offensively and defensively. Defensively, it can be used as an escape. Offensively, you can use it to separate a straggling player from their team or also fly off the top ropes, dropping an elbow onto their head and knocking them out of the fight. His super also destroys walls and cover and provides a knockback effect to the other brawlers. This makes him a great choice for opening up line of sight to the safe on heist or for destroying cover that enemies can hide behind in bounty or smash and grab. Primo is never out of the fight with his ability to close the gap with his super, and if he does make it into melee range, you can expect to lose several hundred hit points with each thundering slap sequence. His extreme damage and hit points make him the number one choice for the showdown game mode, and because of this, he is likely the brawler with the most overall wins on that game mode. Now, El Primo doesn't come without weakness as well. He's a melee character, so he is prone to being kited if his super is not up. That means if he's not able to land those slaps, his super never charges, and he's never able to get into range of those ranged characters that can pick him apart from a distance and finish them off with a super that they can generate because they are able to land shots. El Primo is prone to missing slaps if the target is in extreme proximity. Basically, if they're standing right on top of Primo, it's very difficult for him to determine which direction to slap in order to actually make those slaps connect with the target. Oftentimes, you'll see characters that are in a lot of trouble. Instead of running away from El Primo, which basically guarantees they stay in his wheelhouse and able to reach with his slaps, they'll run towards him instead, trying to disorient El Primo, confuse him, and make him a bit dizzy. And sometimes, a struggling brawler with very low HP is able to get the victory on El Primo simply because he wasn't slapping in the right direction. Many times, El Primo players get on a roll, and they have some sort of false sense of security, where they feel overconfident about their ability simply because the start of the fight went well and in their favor, but as opposing teams regroup and they start to regenerate their super abilities, El Primo can quickly get in a world of hurt because he realizes that he's pushed a little bit too far in by himself and he's ganged up on by the enemy team, taking him out and desynchronizing the spawn times of his team so that they're basically going one on three, two on three the whole time and it makes it very, very difficult to regroup. One of the last weaknesses of El Primo is that killing spawnable units allows enemies to build their super energy up. So what this means is spawnable units such as Jesse's turret or Nita's bear, if El Primo goes into range to kill those units, they are also able to land shots on him. When they're able to do that, the super ability of Nita or of Jesse is recharged and by the time El Primo finishes killing either the turret or the bear, there's another turret or bear on the field right next to him. So it's like an endless exchange of punches on something that really doesn't play into his team's ability objective. As far as tactics and tips go for El Primo, you want to use his superior hit points to control position on the battlefield early. Whether that means pushing the center on smash and grab, taking control of the gem mine for your team so that when gems spawn, your team gets control, that's one very useful way to use El Primo. In addition to that on showdown, when you're playing by yourself, El Primo can often run straight to the center where most of the energy power-ups are in those crates. He can run to the center because if he does find himself in a 1v1, he likely can either run away successfully 
successfully, or he will win that one-on-one -on -one more often than not, which cannot be said about most other players that venture on into the center of the arena because they quite frankly have too few hit points to compete like El Primo does. If you're playing with a team and you guys are coordinating well, make an effort to team fight immediately in order to get their spawn staggered apart. If you can pick off one or two players and kind of get them uh, attacking you one at a time, it's very difficult for an opponent to regroup to actually take down an El Primo, much less the players that are supporting him as well. Almost any time you've isolated a player from their team, do try to push the fight and take him out if your HP allows. El Primo is a character that should be very aggressive on the whole, but also keep in mind when you're out on your own, you don't want to overextend too far and leave your team vulnerable because you're off trying to play hero mode. When El Primo approaches a corner, you want to slightly pre-fire that corner and angle your slaps so that they're pointed in the proper direction as they round the corner. This game is known to allow an early or late slap if you're pursuing a target, so El Primo can kind of seemingly punch around corners in certain scenarios. I don't know if this feature will stay in the game, but as for now, it's something that you should take into account when you're in melee combat with somebody trying to get away from you. As we mentioned before, try not to get a false sense of confidence when you're playing El Primo. It's very easy to do as he's very, very strong. As awesome as it is to steamroll the other team, remember that your presence is worth a ton to your team. Chasing a weakened opponent into their spawn at the cost of you dying, your team losing their position, and your team giving easy gems to the enemy in case you were holding them, that's not going to win the game. Primo makes a great mid-lockdown player because of his high hit points. He can withstand a bit of enemy fire to grab a gem and also fall back as his team supports his rejuvenation until the next gem spawns from the mine. If you do encounter a bear in the open from Nita, make sure that you're retreating away from it. If you absolutely have to take the bear out and no range characters are able to help you out, make sure that you're retreating and not standing toe to toe. That is not wise, unless of course you feel like fighting another bear shortly after you kill the one you're fighting. Don't forget your super ability when times are rough. You can often use it to get away, jumping over some obstacles to take away the opponent's line of sight, and then ducking behind cover further away to heal up. No one wants to chase a full health Primo. Primo's at his best on game modes like Heist, Bounty, Smash and Grab, and Showdown. Just so happens, that's all of the game modes in the game. He's most notorious in Showdown, where 1v1, his skills are far superior to nearly every other brawler. He does have some counters, though, that are less commonly played, but El Primo is the most popular choice on Showdown. He is serviceable and very, very good in all other game modes. It makes him a very popular choice and one of the most common brawlers selected as part of any team composition. As far as worst game modes go, there really are none. Primo excels at everything. Favorable matchups for Primo include Mortis. Mortis simply just doesn't have the hit points to stand up to El Primo and doesn't deal the damage he needs to deal to weaken Primo enough to take him down. The only thing Mortis can do is kind of slide in and take out a weakened Primo that has less than half of his hit points. More characters that Primo can do very well against are Dynamite, Barley, Ricochet, Brock, and basically anybody within melee range of El Primo with the exception of Bull or Shelly. Dynamite, Barley, Ricochet, and Brock are all range characters. Most of them make it pretty hard for Primo to approach, but there are a couple like Brock where Primo can pretty much dodge anything he shoots, but as soon as they get into melee range, two hits from El Primo will kill any of those characters, so they are very, very fragile in the face of danger. Difficult matchups for El Primo include Bo, Crow, Nita, Bull, Spike, and Colt. That is a lot of characters that he has difficult matchups against, and it's because he's kiteable. Bo and Crow are both very good range characters, Bo dealing a lot of initial damage, and also he can trap the ground between him and El Primo, so it makes a pursuit of Bo very difficult. Those explosives that Bo places with his trap ability can actually take down an El Primo from 100% almost all the way down, and if he follows it up with his hunt ability, firing those three explosive arrows, that will be the end of El Primo. Crow can do damage over time, and damage over time against El Primo doesn't seem like a lot at first, but starts to add up over time. And because El Primo has to push forward, taking on the Crow, it's not until he's pushed deep into enemy territory as Crow kites him backwards that he realizes, uh-oh, I'm probably not going to win this fight. And as he tries to retreat, that's when he's kind of uh, stuck in combat, unable to heal because of the poison daggers that Crow throws. Nita is also a very difficult matchup. In addition to the rupture ability, which does a significant amount of damage and helps keep her out of range 
range of Primo's melee ability, Nita also spawns a bear. That bear can basically box in El Primo, taking away his escape route and forcing him to keep coming forward into Nita's rupture, or forcing him to retreat through a bear, which has almost the same amount of hit points as he does. Nita is very, very close to a hard counter for Primo, but not quite because she still is kind of frail, and if El Primo does get into range, he can end her life pretty quickly. Another very good character against El Primo is Bull. Bull doesn't quite have the range. It's quite funny. Bull's shotgun seems to have a shorter range than El Primo's slaps, which doesn't quite make sense when you think about it, but it still goes to show that Bull is very, very strong because he's got 1,200 hit points. That means a lot of slaps from El Primo, and it means El Primo is going to have to be in melee range, which means that Bull is also in range to stick his shotgun where the sun don't shine and uh, pump a few pellets into El Primo and take him down. If Bull does get into trouble and El Primo starts to do a little bit more damage, he can simply use his super and dash away through any obstacles and get away out of melee range to help himself heal up and escape to live to fight another day. We've got Spike and Colt as well. Those characters both do just an absolute ton of damage and El Primo has to pursue them. Spike being very, very difficult because he's got his super, which is a, a very good ground cover of spikes, which slows down the enemy players and makes it so Primo cannot escape well either. So he can't pursue and he can't escape with a well-placed stick around ability from Spike. So it makes Spike a very difficult counter for him. Colt also is a counter specifically because his primary ability can light up Primo so hard that he's one of the few players that can take down Primo relatively quickly. A hard counter for Primo is Shelly. Shelly is a short range character that uses a shotgun, but her super ability is Grape Shot. Grape Shot is a basically a very powerful version of her normal fire, kind of on steroids. So as Primo kind of moves in to take her down, she can fire that thing off and take almost half of his hit points if it's point blank range. Shelly is a very hard counter to Primo because she can chip away at his health as he can stay inside of shotgun range with a pretty good buffer room so Shelly can decide to get close if she wants to finish him off or she can back further away if Primo turns to try to turn the attack on her. Overall recommendation for El Primo for a common character, he is just about as strong as it gets. He's a very easy character to get the hang of. Simply slap and punch targets that are next to you. Simple enough, right? Of course, there are nuances to learn, but for the most part, he's a character that you can be very competitive with right away in every single game mode. This makes him a very high priority target to learn to play with. His versatility between the game modes make him a top choice for players who'd like to consider El Primo their main brawler. That's going to do it for today's guide on El Primo. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, and as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more awesome Brawl Stars content. Also, on your way out, make sure you check the link in the description for a Brawl Stars wiki site, which has more guides, more tips and tricks, and stats on every single brawler in the game. It will make life immensely easier for you if you're trying to learn more about Supercell's new game, Brawl Stars. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Power Bang. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.